Censorship has gotten way too far. If you logged into Love Nikki at all recently, you probably saw this notification, or maybe you just breezed through it because let's be real, only like 1% of players actually stop to read this. We just want to get into the game, okay? So for people who did not read it, I'm here to give you the cliff notes. It says, there is Dallas as Facebook starts to conduct another round of censorship. We recommend you buying your email or Apple account to reduce the instability you may encounter in the game. Uh-oh, first paragraph already, that's extremely scary news. Everyone is affected here. If your Love Nikki account is bound to Facebook, which is everyone here, assuming you don't use guest login, then you may possibly be screwed. If Facebook bans your account, then your Love Nikki account and all the games you have that use Facebook login are gone. I know way too many players who lost their account, not because they did any hacking, but because their Facebook account was locked. That's a very tragic way to lose your Love Nikki account forever. So why is Facebook doing this censorship thing? And why is mobile giving us this notification now and not years ago when Facebook was doing their previous purges? Well, they got caught in a class action lawsuit that recently came to a whopping $725 million settlement. So TLDR of this, uh, Facebook was accused of allowing third parties to access as many of 87 million users' personal information, which is a huge violation of privacy. And now Facebook users in the US will get a payout of $725 million dollars if you're interested in some of the cash here is the website of uh, facebook user privacy settlement.com i'll put the link in the description this is a very legit lawsuit with a very real payout but let's be real with everyone in the country signing up for this i can't wait to get my 69 cents uh, but the thing i'm unsure about is what will facebook do with the whole censorship thing the way momo mentioned it in the notification makes it seem like facebook can possibly ban accounts. Maybe they'll ban accounts that sign up for the settlement money. That's actually very unlikely though, but it's something to think about. This reminds me of when Steam got sued and the settlement website was asking players for their Steam ID to claim their free money. And a lot of Steam players got scared because they're like, oh no, why did they want my Steam ID? Unless it's because they don't want to do business with clients if they're involved in a class action suit against them. But yeah, in reality, Steam didn't ban anyone because class action lawsuits usually has no effect on your relationship with the party being sued. It's something to think about though, because Momo mentioned another round of censorship. So I'm like, oh no. Who's getting banned this time? But yeah, that's the latest news on Facebook. Another thing I think may possibly be the cause of this is Facebook obviously spies on you. They look through your internet history for your nasty searches and blackmail you. I'm just kidding. Uh, when websites spy on you, they just spy on you so that they can serve relevant ads to you and hopefully get your money. For example, if you look up dog food on Facebook, Facebook automatically assumes you are a dog owner because otherwise, why would you look up dog food? Then Facebook will serve you a bunch of ads from dog food brands like Purina, Chewy. They may even serve you ads for local vets. They do this to give you relevant ads because that's what the dog foods and veterinarian advertisers pay thousands of dollars for. And they know Facebook have this information about you because they spy on you. Ah, how do I know this? This is literally my real life job. I do advertising on Facebook. So a lot of countries, do not like that their citizens are being spied on like Europeans with their GDPR. I know that the Japanese version of Love Nikki was banned for European players because of GDPR. Uh, maybe a new law will come to place which makes Elix cut ties with Facebook and if that happens your Love Nikki account will be lost. Anyway, they also mentioned here you can bind your account to your email address by going to settings. I will teach you how to do that. So when you are in your Love Nikki game you want to click on your profile picture then you want to click on your settings. Over here it says Find account with mail, right? So just put your email address in, like bots at. I don't know. And then for the password, you put your password in and then make sure your password matches and then confirm. But when you do this account binding thing, make sure that you remember this password. 
And make sure it's not an easy to guess the password too, otherwise you'll be screwed. But if you don't remember this password, there is no way to recover this password at all. I know, right? That is so dumb. Like who has never forgotten a password before? I forget my password all the time. But uh, unfortunately, that's not something that Elix offers this time. If you forget your password with your email account bound, then you're just as screwed as your Facebook account being banned. But once you have set your email and your password, this is how you can log in next time. Uh, by clicking on this mail button, it's going to open a pop-up that looks something uh, like this and you just uh, plug in the mail and the password you set and log in and that's pretty much it. But mail login is actually a lot weaker compared to facebook login and this is why so i am in my love nikki game logged in with my email and i want to go to my friend mail to collect stamina uh-uh this feature is not available for guest player i'm considered a guest player now when i do email login that is so lame and i can't even access my friends what the this is terrible! What about Star Recorder? Oh, at least I can see my friends through here. I guess that's a dub. Why did they block this then? It makes no sense. But the thing that pisses me off the most is... Hold up. Uh, let's go to home. Where's the diamond sharing feature? It, it don't exist. Hello? Diamond sharing? I, I want my diamonds for sharing. That is so many diamonds that I'm missing out on. What about this part? When I get a A in a stage, then I have the opportunity to get... Hello? Where is this? Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. So yeah, if you get an A in a stage, you can get four diamonds. And that option is just not available here. That is so, so annoying. Uh, that's why email login is a lot inferior compared to facebook login but there is hope this is an announcement post on a love nikki official discord by fully custom which is a long time trusted mod uh blah 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 over here it says developers have also let us know that google binding is under development wow it took facebook spying on us for decades and losing lawsuits to make this happen Woo! Oh, that is good news because I feel like Google is more reliable than Facebook because I've had my Facebook account locked before. I've never had my Google account locked before. So yeah, that's good news. Yay, Google login! That means the developers actually cares about Love Nikki being around for the long run. I think this is good news all around. All right, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, bad news and then... There's the good news, Google binding coming. Uh, subscribe or I'll delete your love, Nikki account. Peace, peace.